Hi, I hope you're doing well. For this video, we're gonna be doing writing and graphing inequalities notes. So first we're gonna talk about what an inequality sign is. So we'll draw out a number line and compare using the number line. First, the less than symbol. It says that the number on the left is less than the number on the right. Four is less than five. You can see that it's to the left of five on the number line. Four is to the left of five on the number line, so that's true. Uh, in another example, three is less than four. I can see that on the number line. It's always good to look at the number line to see which one is further to the left, that would be less. Which one is further to the right, that would be greater. And if x was less than nine, that would be all the values less than nine. So I'd be uh, not including nine. If you look here, I have a circle, but I include all the values, so I draw an arrow towards the true values that make this statement true. Next, we'll talk about the greater than symbol. For example, five is greater than four. I can see that five is to the right of four on the number line. Another example, negative two is greater than negative three. When you're looking at negatives, remember that it counts away from zero as it gets decreases in value. So you can see that negative two is greater than negative three. Negative two is towards, negative two is to the right of negative three on the number line. Zero is greater than negative one. And if I had a value, say x is greater than positive two, I can see that where positive two is on the number line, it doesn't include, because I know that two is not greater than two, but all the numbers to the right of two would be included in that. We'll talk about less than or equal to as well. Greater than or equal to. For these, it can be equal to. Next, let's talk about creating a table for inequalities. We'll talk about truth table. That's uh, values that make a inequality statement true. So if I say X is less than five, First, five is the value of interest that I'm gonna be centered around. Try it first. I'm gonna put five on the, as a possible value of x. Now, five is not less than five, so that's gonna be a false statement. I'll write it down as false under my truth table. Then try a value above the value of interest, or sort of a value greater. If x is six, six is not less than five, so that's false. And I can put an F for false in the truth table. Next one, try a value, or last, try a value less than. So four is less than five, that's true. Now a truth table will help you with graphing. So when looking at graphing and inequality, First, draw your number line. You're gonna to wanna to have a straight line, and to the right, you're gonna have your positive values. To the left, you're gonna have your negative value, going towards the negative. Start with your value of interest, that'll go in the center. To the right of five is gonna be six, and to the left of five is gonna be four. We're gonna be focused on this value of five, because it's the value of interest in this statement. We'll put a circle above. Now. You fill in this circle if it can be equal to. That's if you have a greater than or equal to sign or a less than or equal to sign. But we just have a less than. So you leave it as a circle if it cannot be equal to. That's the greater than symbols or the less than symbols. And you're gonna draw an arrow in the direction of the true values. And that would be graphing an inequality. You see the number line, you see that you graph in the direction of the true values. Let's try some examples of this. So examples of graphing the following inequalities. So please feel free to try these out on your own. But to graph, we're gonna be creating a number line. 
In the center, we'll put our value of interest and we'll go positive to the right, negative to the left. Our value of interest is negative five and going towards the positive would be negative four, going towards the negative would be negative six. Now it cannot be equal to, so it's just less than. And so I'm gonna put a circle and I'm gonna graph the direction of the true values. And then that's done. Let's go on to number, the next one. X is greater than 13. I'll write out a number line, positive to the right, negative to the left. 13 goes in the center, 14 is greater, 12 is less, and because it cannot be equal to, I leave it as a circle, the true values are going greater than 13. Let's try that x is less than or equal to 7. I'm going to put my value of interest in the center. I put my value greater to the right, value less to the left and because it can be equal to I'm gonna fill in that dot I'm left with X is less than or equal to 7 I'm gonna draw an arrow towards the negative for next one X is greater than or equal to 1 I'm gonna put 1 in the center put values to the left and right because it can be equal to I'm gonna fill in that circle the value two is, is greater than, so I'm gonna to go towards those true values. X is less than or equal to negative three. I'm gonna create my number line. Value of interest goes in the center. Remember that for negatives, you count away from zero. So negative four is gonna be getting less value and negative two is gonna be greater value. Negative three is included because it can be equal to, so I'm gonna put in the dot and I'm going to graph towards the negative side because x is less than or equal to negative 3. For the last one, create your number line, 4 goes in the center, I'll have 3 towards my negative and 5 towards my positive and because it cannot be equal to, I leave this as a circle because x is greater than 4. I draw an arrow towards my true values going towards the positive. Please let me know if you have any questions. As always, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I hope you have a great day.